Social media and manual therapy is a paradox because on one hand it can be incredibly useful and on the other it can promote pseudoscience, misinformation and potentially dangerous practices and potential patient harm. Now, as manual therapists, we have a responsibility to educate and empower, not mislead our patients or colleagues. Yet, if you scroll, uh, if you scroll through social media these days, you'd think that therapy begins and ends with a single dramatic click. But let's be clear, high velocity, low amplitude manipulation is just one tool in a much larger toolbox. It's not magic. And it's certainly not the whole picture when it comes to effective patient-centered care. Now, social media has been flooded with videos of therapists performing aggressive HVLA manipulations, cracking every single joint in the body with little or no clinical context. These posts portray manipulation as the ultimate solution for pain and dysfunction. But this is misleading. It's misleading for the patients and for new graduates and anyone unfamiliar with the complexities of manual therapy. Using only HVLA or emphasizing it disproportionately shows a lack of understanding of the broader therapeutic process. Effective therapy involves much, much more. Patient history, clinical reasoning, soft tissue work, exercise rehabilitation, education, and often behavioral interventions. HVLA is a small part of a comprehensive treatment plan. It's not a magic fix. These videos set patients up for disappointment. They may walk into a clinic expecting instant relief from a single manipulation, only to realize that sustainable long-term outcomes take time, effort, and a multifaceted approach. Worse yet, new graduates watching these clips might think that cracking joints is all they need to do. But that is not therapy. That's being mono-interventionalist. And mono-interventionalism has no place in modern healthcare. By focusing exclusively on HVLA, these posts not only oversimplify therapy, but trivialize potential risks involved. HVLA, when done correctly and on the right patient, can be an effective tool. It's a very effective tool, but without proper clinical assessment, without understanding contraindications like osteoporotic issues or vascular issues, it can be dangerous. And social media doesn't show that side of the story. It doesn't show the follow-ups, the ongoing care, or the risk of over-reliance on a single intervention. Let's not forget there can be excessive amounts of pseudoscientific claims often paired with these re videos, realigning the spine, subluxation theory, or other unsupported assertions that have no basis in evidence. These claims might sound impressive to lay people, but they erode trust in the profession and risk regulatory scrutiny. In the UK, the Advertising Standards Authority or the ASA and the professional bodies like the GEOSC and the GCC are clear claims must be backed up by credible evidence. Saying that a click will cure everything is not evidence-based, it's snake oil. So what are the alternatives? We need to use social media responsibly. Show the bigger picture in treatment. Educate your audience about the importance of clinical reasoning, individualized care, and long-term exercise rehabilitation. Show and demonstrate exercise rehab. Discuss the role of education in managing chronic pain patients and emphasize the value of patient empowerment and shared decision-making. Showcase the fact that therapy is a process, not a single dramatic effect or event. If you use HVLA in your videos, provide context. Explain who it's for, what the risks are, and why it's part of a broader treatment plan. And remember, it's okay to show the unglamorous side of therapy. Not everything has to go viral to be valuable. 
What I say to therapists is let's raise the bar. Stop reducing therapy to a single click. Let's educate, not mislead. Because at the end of the day, our profession isn't about sensationalization. It's about helping people. Therapy isn't magic. It's clinical expertise, empathy, and a commitment to evidence-based care. That's what patients need, and that's what we should be showing them. Let's be better. Because our patients and our profession deserve nothing less. Don't compromise your ethics and your professionalism for the likes and clicks and validation of strangers. Let's use social media responsibly.